Ontario has so many beautiful living creatures that all have some things about them that have their similarities. But even where they are similar, they still are very different. Wildlife all have unique adaptations to them that make them very different from one another. And as all wildlife are unique, they bring very different things to an ecosystem that can impact that ecosystem and us greatly. Let's start off by talking about how all animals and humans are similar but also different. So all animals have bones, specifically skulls, but not all skulls are the same. Predator and prey mammals have adaptations to their skulls that either help them hunt or protect them. A predator's eye sockets are located towards the front of the skull and have binocular vision, like humans and coyotes. This allows us to focus on prey better. Prey have eyes more on the side of their head, which allows them to have more of a 360 degree view, which means they can see in every direction. This adaptation is for their protection and allows them to see predators coming from everywhere. White-tailed deer are a mammal that is a type of prey that has this 360 degree vision. So now let's talk about something else every creature has, our skin. But all animals have different adaptations of it based on their lifestyles and what their needs are to live. Most mammals have some type of fur that allow them to regulate their body temperatures. It's waterproof and creates camouflage for protection. Some mammals like deer do not hibernate during the winter, so their fur has adapted to help them in the winter months. It will grow thicker and attract more sunlight allowing the deer to stay warm. Also creates a stronger waterproof guard to keep the snow from touching the deer. Amphibians have a special type of skin that allows them to breathe through their skin. This adaptation allows them to breathe when they are underwater. Most amphibians, like the spring peeper, have multiple lungs that allow them to breathe on land and underwater. Amphibians can be very important in telling us whether the water is healthy in an area because they breathe through their skin. Can you hear that? All those frogs singing? That means that this swamp is a healthy swamp. Snake scales help create grip, protection, and retain water so they do not need to drink as often. This adaptation allows snakes to survive in sandy desert areas. Birds have a small layer of skin that makes the feathers to fly and migrate for food. Feathers help create flight, keep a bird warm, and also waterproof. Birds need the ability to fly during the winter months. This adaptation allows birds to fly south to stay warm and have lots of food once the snow falls in Canada. Turtles have shells that protect their organs just like humans have rib cages. A turtle's shell is very strong and also attached to their bodies. Just like our rib cages, the shell protects all the turtle's important organs. Turtles can have a big impact on humans, just like humans can have a big impact on turtles. Turtles are a keystone species, which means that they are very important to our ecosystem and they cannot be removed from it. Now turtles are an endangered species as well, so as humans we need to do what we can to protect them. Turtles are like our nature's natural pool filters. They like to eat dead animals and fish that are still in the waters. Doing this helps keep our wetlands, like lakes and rivers, clean for us to enjoy and swim in. No one wants to swim with stinky fish still in the water. Turtles are also very important to our ecosystems because they help create lots of different plants within our forests and wetlands. Because turtles travel between both water and land ecosystems, they are a major source of energy and nutrient transfer between the two. They achieve this through their droppings. Since turtles do so much for us, we need to make sure we are doing what we can to help them. Thankfully, we have organizations like Ontario Parks that protect lands and habitats that many endangered species of turtle use to live in. 
As humans, everyone needs to be making sure they are doing their part as well. The easiest thing we can do to help turtles is to break for them. Make sure we stop our cars and bikes and allow the turtles to exit our roads is the easiest thing we can do. The next best thing we can do is to help the turtle to cross the road. The main thing when helping a turtle across the road is to make sure you take them to the side of the road that he is trying to get to. Our third way we can help our turtles is to protect their nests. Some mammals enjoy eating turtle eggs. Therefore, we can protect their nests by putting a box over it so creatures cannot get to them. Next time you're out adventuring and you see all these beautiful creatures we have in Ontario, you'll understand that even though they look very different to us, they do have their similarities.